Today on Open Throttle 360, we head back to the flashlight drags to see who knows how to pick a winner this time. We see what sweet rides are hanging out at the Wexford Starlight Car Cruise. With the 4th of July just around the corner, we take time to pay tribute to the men and women who serve our country with a trip to Motordrome Speedway. And we talk with a local family of racers. That's coming up on OT360. Gentlemen, start your engines. Welcome to another episode of Open Throttle 360. I'm Tom Lang. And I'm Trip Clark. And Tom, it's hard to believe that the 4th of July is right around the corner. Pretty much marks the midsummer point for us. Yeah, but we still got a whole lot of motorsports to yes, cover. Yes, we do. We do. You know, Trip, one of my favorite segments was the flashlight drags. Yeah, because you cleaned my clock with your nitrous boosted pickup truck. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Well, we did it again. Trip and I headed down to Greene County for the flashlight drags. As they say, Street racing without the jail time. See who came out on top this time around. All right, so Tom, we're back here at the Flashlight Drags. In season two, we went head to head and you took advantage of me and kicked my butt. The cars did the kicking, <laughs> but uh, I did the picking. You did. I got an idea this year, maybe we ought to go for a best of three instead of just one pair. Maybe. So maybe do a couple new cars, a couple classic cars, and then a couple random cars based on, you know. Which color you like, <laughs> which one has fuzzy well, lights hanging I'm not gonna pretend to know stuff I don't know. Get out there on the track and uh, see what your stuff will do. All right, best of three. I'm up for it, let's go. How you doing, what's your name? My name's Brian. Hey Brian, I'm Tripp, good to see you. So I pretty much, I'm going with, with your car over the classic Mustang. And we'd like you to take on this new model Mustang in this classic Stang. You up for a race? I'm ready. The format's an eighth mile heads up drag race. No times, nothing. Uh, we keep it real simple. Started with a flashlight, and the first one to cross the line wins. We're out here at the airport, wind's blowing, but sun's out, so we're racing. He's going up against a Corvette over here. It's a pretty sweet Corvette. Don't let me down. Thanks, brother. <laughs> now, Tripp picked the ZL1, but uh, you told me that he barely beat you the last time you raced. judgment on the Mustang. Well, I hit first pick. No. You hit first pick, second one. And I picked the winner. Yes, I went with did. the ZL1. Well, I say, let's make this interesting. <laughs> okay? We're not allowed to do this on TV, I don't think. Handshake okay. it. Handshake it. <laughs> I'll buy you a beer if I lose. Okay, Nick, uh, this is the rubber match. I had to pick here, and I'm going to go with the classic American muscle here, the uh, 69 Roadrunner. Uh, you up for this? I'm hoping you have some fun on this run and uh, make a winner out of me. I got a whole dollar riding on this. Right now we're pitting classic American muscle against modern engineering. I'm taking the Cadillac. So, Terry, don't let me down, brother. Okay. All right, yeah. knock her dead, buddy. You hit 
handled me pretty well at the convention center. Now we're on the racetrack, it's my turn. So I guess the lesson that I'm taking from this today is uh, you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Just like poker. Till the next flashlight drag, my man. It's on. It's on. Joining us now is Tim Bilak. Tim, tell us a little bit about your car. It's a 72 old Scutless that my dad bought new in 72. I've had it since uh, 1977. Uh, it was pretty much your everyday Cutlass, and over the course of 35 years, this is what I turned it into. It's a 455 um, Turbo 400 from Rosler and 12 bolt rear end. It's something that uh, I'll probably pass on to my son. One of the things you've always strived for is keeping this car clean. It's white underneath. Uh, yeah, the frame's white, and uh, the undercarriage is the same color as the uh, top green. It's and as shiny, so it's just something that uh, I always wanted was just to have something, have it forever, and keep it clean. I've heard some people talking earlier. At one time, uh, you had this car out, and you got caught in the rain. And is it true you took a week off work to clean the car? Uh, it wasn't a whole week, but it was pretty much of a weekend, and that was probably around 1980. That was the last time it was out in the rain. 1980, so that's 32 years ago, the last time this saw rain. Uh, that's right. All right, Tim has a, a rather interesting story to tell about uh, when it was still his father's car, and we used to go cruising in this thing at night. Uh, we used to uh, take it up to Tom's house. I had another set of wheels and tires, mags for it, uh, not the generic steel wheels and hubcaps. So for uh, Friday, Saturday night cruising, we'd go up there, take the wheels off, put the mags on, kind of put some spacers in the back springs so they picked the back end up a little bit. We'd cruise around all night, come back, change the tires back again, and I'd give it back to them with the little wheels on for the next day. My dad got it, but my mom wasn't sure uh, about driving it that way, so that was my way around and something pretty neat to cruise around in. Did your parents ever find out that we were doing that? Uh, nope. So, Mom, sorry if you hear about this this way. Up next on OT360, we head to Smithton, PA, and talk with Todd Melfi, the owner of Motordrome Speedway, as well as fans about what the military means to them. We talk with members of the Romeo family about racing through the generations. And we take a look at some GoPro footage from local drivers. That's next on Open Throttle 360. Looking for a one-stop shop for all of your dirt, drag, and street machine needs? Look no further than Hoosier Tire Mid-Atlantic and Precise Racing Products. Precise is the leading distributor for Hoosier Racing Tires and VP Racing Fuel for Pennsylvania and Maryland. We also have a wide range of parts and accessories for circle track, drag racing, and street performance. Visit PreciseRacing.com and enter coupon code OT360 to receive a free hat on your next purchase. Precise Racing Products. We sell speed. Best tires, parts, and service. Tire Town. When it comes to luxury and performance, Buick takes a back seat to no one. Arnold Palmer Motors in Latrobe features the best of Buick, including the 2014 Buick Verano. Verano represents a new generation of mid sized Buick luxury by blending performance ready styling, comfort, and advanced IntelliLink technology. Visit Arnold Palmer Motors today and experience the 2014 Buick Verano for yourself. It's Delaney Chevrolet's Super Summer Sales Event now through June 30 at the Delaney Chevrolet. Hurry in for these great deals. Drive home in a new 2014 Chevy Cruze. Buy it now for $15,135. Or how about a 2014 Chevy Silverado? Buy it now for $31,151. Visit online at DelaneyChevrolet.com for other great offers. Hurry, the Delaney Chevrolet Super Summer Sales Event ends June 30th. Chevrolet, buy new roads. Delaney, it's all right here.
The sacrifices that have been made for centuries by the men and women of our military can't be overstated. All of us at some point have lost a brother or sister, a mom or dad, a son or daughter, or maybe our best friend. Many of the area racetracks take time to honor our military, and Open Throttle 360 recently paid a visit to Motodrome on one of those special evenings. This is Nick Panaya. Nick, uh, now I always thought maybe you were in Vietnam or Korea, but you were in the big one. I was in World War II. And where did you see service? Well, I was on a carrier, and we was at Pacific. This is something I've always wondered. Now, I know when you're in a war, there's a lot of things on your mind, like just staying alive, but uh, were you thinking of maybe getting a race car while you were in the service? No, I'm bit, no, I'm bit. My uh, older brother, he started it. He was he two years older than me, and then I started after he got killed in '69 uh, at uh, Heidelberg in the big race. They got killed in 1969. Now this guy standing next to us here, uh, this is your son Matt. So how long you been driving this car? This car about six years, but we've been running out here since they turned it over from dirt to asphalt, 1990. Matt, what does it mean to you? for this racetrack to have a military appreciation night? Oh, I think it's great. I mean, I'm proud of my dad. In his area, you know, they bombed Pearl Harbor and these guys were anxious to go to get there. They wanted to fight, you know. It's a little different now, but I'm proud of the guys that, you know, that serve and the women. Again, I'd like to thank you for your service to our country. Oh, thank you. And thanks for your dedication to racing and good luck tonight. Maybe you get a trophy to take home tonight. You never know, yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Maybe. Motordrome Speedway with the new owner operator Todd Melfi. Uh, Todd, give us some background how you got into this business. Well, I built a couple racetracks uh, just starting out out of college. I built Lake Erie Speedway and ran it up in Erie for about five years and then went out with Rusty Wallace, helped consult and build Iowa Speedway. And how did you come to be the owner of Motordrome? Well, I always wanted to own my own track, and I knew Motodrome was an available opportunity. I knew it was a good opportunity, and the stars aligned, and we were able to put a deal together with the uh, previous owners, and here we are. What kind of events do we have on the schedule here at Motodrome for this year? This year, it's pretty pretty standard uh, trying to stabilize the short track Friday night NASCAR uh, Whalen All-American Series program. We're going to tie in a lot of promotional events as we get going. Tonight's Military Appreciation Night, so we're going to let the military wave the green flag, ride in the pace car tonight, give away other prizes to them, and we can never do as much as they deserve and what they what you know what they do for us. But every little bit we can do, we're we're honored to do it because we wouldn't be here doing what we're doing and what we love to do if it wasn't for them. So you know we're just happy to be able to do something. Please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem by Christian Rodman. Seen several wars, and I really would like to thank all the veterans uh, from the bottom of my heart for uh, all you guys do. Thank you, veterans, for serving our country. Just want to give a big shout out to our military. Um, they do so much for us and we very much appreciate it. Honestly, it's a touching moment because uh, my uncle just passed away this week and he was a U.S. Marine. And, and I'm so proud. He was so proud to be a Marine and we were so proud of him. And I want to thank all the veterans in the country. I'm just really appreciative that Motor Trouble would do that for not only myself, but all veterans. It means a great deal to us, especially the sacrifice that our military members give. Thank you for all you do. We love you. Thank you for your sacrifices so that we can have this beautiful country. on OT360. A mom and her two sons talk about what drag racing means to their family and who the next generation of racers might be. Then we go pro. Don't go far. Open Throttle 360 will be right back.
With more than three decades of experience and 130 suppliers under one roof, Luby's Chevy Warehouse is your one-stop restoration shop for sheet metal, brakes, emblems, chrome, and more. Need restoration parts for Chevy Impala, Bel Air, or Biscayne? We've got a catalog for that. We've got parts for Tri-5 and Chevy trucks, Chevelle, Monte Carlo, and El Camino, Chevy Nova, and Camaro. It's all at Luby's Chevy Warehouse. Call today for a free catalog or visit us at a swap meet near you. It's the Delaney Subaru Super Summer Sales event going on now through June 30th at Delaney Subaru. You'll love Delaney's great deals and huge inventory of vehicles. Lease a 2014 Subaru Legacy for $189 a month for 36 months. Or lease a 2014 Subaru Outback for $269 a month for 36 months. Visit online at DelaneySubaru.com for other great offers. Hurry, the Subaru Super Summer Sales event ends June 30th. Delaney, it's all right here. Hope Learning Center has changed my family's life and my life. One of the big surprises of Savannah being here at Hope is one of making friends. Just getting along with other children, to be able to sit through an entire eight hour day versus struggling through to get it through a three hour day of school. She's comfortable, she's happy, she's happy, I'm happy. The Hope Learning Center, learn today, hope for tomorrow. The wonder of summer is that I never know what kind of adventure awaits. The days are longer and the breeze feels a little sweeter. And thanks to Volvo, I'll pay nothing for repairs or maintenance for five years. Nothing. They even cover my first month's payment. So I'll be happy wherever the summer takes me. The wonder of summer event. Lease a 2015 Volvo S60 for $3.29 a month. Visit PittsburghVolvo.com for details. As many of you know, cars, racing, and motorsports in general frequently is a family affair. Open Throttle 360 made a trip to Pittsburgh Raceway Park to talk to a family of racers that includes mom, dad, and both sons. Plus, they're making plans for a third generation of racers. Meet the Romeo family. I'm Frank Romeo. My name is Mark Romeo. I'm Amy Romeo. My name is Kevin Romeo. And I drive a chassis car Vega in top class at Pittsburgh Raceway Park. 1970 Chevy Nova in the modified and top class at Pittsburgh Raceway Park. I run a 1973 Pontiac Ventura. I drive a 1978 Camaro. Most of the people here are second generation racers that their parents taught them everything they know. Oddly enough, we were racing first, but we were not doing well until we learned to listen to them. We've taught them a huge amount of information. I have time to read, and I, 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 I'm a student of the sport. And my mom and dad, they, they read here and there, but I'm really like the main information source. There's nothing more that we like to do than to help each other out, but whenever we get out on that racetrack, against each other, it's just another opponent. The only one in my family that I've had the opportunity to race is my son Kevin, and I have never beat him. I can say that if I would ever beat him, I would be thrilled, because I would know that I beat the best. The competitiveness between family members is really not a big deal, I, I, in my opinion. I don't, know what my, I don't know what my brother, mom, or dad might have said. We currently have four grandchildren. Uh, two girls and two boys, and we have another boy on the way. I think once the grandkids start racing, maybe, you know, I might back off a little bit, help them a little bit. We'll see. Looking forward to my kids racing is an understatement. I, I can't, I'd park my car in a heartbeat uh, for them to come out and race. But, um, hold on. That <laughs> The racetrack here, and pretty much any racetrack, is very family oriented. We were raised here, and I feel the best thing we can do is to raise our children here. I know that if they want to go fast, which I know teenage boys want to go fast, I would rather they do it here. And that was my response when all my friends said, are you crazy? Why would you let your kids go up there and drive 100 miles an hour on a track? The racing family here is so much more than just the four of us. You could ask them for a cotter pin or for a ride to the store. and. They're, they're gonna give it to you because that's just what we do. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some bad eggs. You can probably edit that part out. But <laughs> for the most part, everybody here would give you the shirt off their back in a heartbeat to help. If I wasn't drag racing, I would 
golf or I'd hate to golf. I would never want to golf, but uh, RC airplanes <laughs> or something. I, I don't know exactly what. Uh, actually, I really don't know what I would be doing. I, I really don't know. I, I don't think there's anything else I want to do. to come. Drivers and racers from all over the area submitted their GoPro footage. See if yours makes the show. A family owned and operated racing enterprise specializing in restoration work, chassis setup, transmission work, hard to find parts and vintage car sales. Zappa Racing is the place to go for your road racing needs. Visit ZappaRacing.com and find out what the Fighting Bee is all about. Zappa Racing. The Hope Learning Center has changed my family's life and my life. One of the big surprises with Savannah being here at Hope is one of making friends. Just getting along with other children, to be able to sit through an entire eight hour day versus struggling through to get it through a three hour day of school. She's comfortable, she's happy. She's happy, I'm happy. The Hope Learning Center. Learn today, hope for tomorrow. It's the Delaney Honda Super Summer Sales Event, now through June 30th at Delaney Honda. Hurry in to lease a 2014 Honda Civic Coupe CVTLX for $169 a month for 36 months. Or lease a 2014 Honda Pilot four-wheel drive LX for $289 a month for 36 months. Delaney Honda is the area's best location for certified pre-owned Hondas. Visit online at DelaneyHonda.com for other great offers. Hurry, the Delaney Honda Summer Super Sales Event ends June 30th. Delaney, it's all right here. When it comes to luxury and performance, Cadillac still sets the standard. Arnold Palmer Motors in Latrobe offers the best of Cadillac luxury, including the all-new 2014 ATS, a world-class compact luxury sedan that redefines the Cadillac experience. The Cadillac CTS, Motor Trend's 2014 Car of the Year, is in a class by itself for design, safety, and engineering excellence. Visit Arnold Palmer Motors in Latrobe today and test drive the best that Cadillac has to offer.
You know, Tom, I love the GoPro segment. I know when you and I are out walking around the local tracks and the flashlight drags, I see a ton of drivers with GoPro set up in their car. Some of the teams actually point the camera at the engine or the tires for some tuning help. Yeah, a lot of cool shots beyond just the driver shots. All you gotta do is upload your video to us and you can be part of the show. Just go to OpenThrottle360.com and click on the GoPro camera and upload your file. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and take a minute to visit and support our sponsors. Hey Tom, when is a frog like a car? When it's being towed. See you next time. Next week on OT360, we visit the world-famous Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix. We'll take a trip down memory lane and look back at the former PID Pittsburgh International Dragway. We're going to look at some action from Motordrome Speedway. And as always, we take a look at GoPro submissions from local drivers and racers. That's all coming up on the next Open Throttle 360.